Hey guys, back at Farmer Pat here. Today we're going to talk about um, a product that I mentioned in my previous video when I spoke about how to identify the, the common insects and pests that bother our veggies and our fruits and you know stop us from getting the beautiful harvest that we want. We also spoke about if in that call, uh, I mean, uh, sorry, on that video, we spoke about aphids and I talked about the love relationship between aphids and ants. Aphids suck the life out of our plants. They suck the life. They love the sugar, the nectar that is in the flowers. You can look here on my Barbados cherry tree. Those little black dots are aphids. And I mentioned how aphids come in many different colors. They can be black, white, brown. I've heard they're even orange aphids. And there's a love relationship between ants and aphids. These aphids didn't get to my flowers by mistake. But if these aphids stay here much longer, you'll see these, these um, cherry blossoms drop off. So my tree has been trying to blossom, but each time I lose my blossoms, I only have had a few um, cherries for, um, over the past month. So there's a love relationship between ants and aphids. The ants go down into the soil and they mine the aphids and then they use the tree trunk like a highway and they bring the aphids all the way up to the blossoms and they suck the blossoms then their poop is like a nectar their poop is like a nectar for the ants and the ants eat the poop so that's the whole purpose of aphids for the ants they mind the ant they mind the aphids not because they love them but they love their poop so today we're going to try a product that i heard about at lowe's it's OMRI, OMRI certified, that means it's certified organic, and it's a very thick um, barrier. I had a gloves on earlier when I put it on, but I just want to show you. It's very thick. And what I, several of you said that you wanted to see what the results were, how I did it. So I just put it on a few minutes ago. What I did was, on the tree trunk, I put, I put blue um, painter's tape, because I know that's, that won't harm the tree. And then I put the substance all around it. So what I did was I made sure that every single trunk that comes from the soil leading up is covered with the blue um, painter's tape. And then I covered it with the tangle foot so that if any ants try to come up, it will get stuck on there, right? As a matter of fact here, I can already see some ants that are trying to get back down. Let's see. They're trying to get back down. Let's see if they get past it. You guys were asking, does it work? So let's see if it works. We're gonna see this together. Let's see. So I see the ants. Look at that, guys. Look at that. You see all the ants? They're trying to go past it, but it looks like they're stuck. It looks like they can't get past. Let me get a little closer. <clears throat> Okay, there we go. Oops, there's the ant. He got on. Let's see if he gets off. So they're all, so it looks like it's working. They're going back up the tree. They can't get past it. So the key to this is make sure you get every single gap. And what I did was, you see like right here, there's a hole. So I poured tangle, tangle foot down that hole. So if the ants try to get in, they'll get stuck underneath the tape. But look at that guys, oh my gosh. Look at these ants. They are trying their hardest to get down and get more aphids. And they can't. It's like a barrier. So they're not, they're smart. They're not actually going on it. Well, one is trying to go on it, then he realized and he went back up. So it is working. So the key, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna power wash the tree. And I mentioned that, that is my first line of defense. I don't like to use a lot of chemicals and thank God this is not a chemical. This is organic certified. So there's, this has no harm, but I'm going to power wash my tree to get rid of all the existing aphids because they are very light and they'll wash off very easily. And then the ants won't be able to bring any more up because obviously clearly they cannot get past this barrier. So this barrier is working. I'll also check on this tomorrow to make sure the barrier is still good since I'm gonna power wash the tree. Um, another thing I did was there were multiple small branches 
that we're crossing so like a branch would start here you can see where I cut this and and cross over to here so what what I did was I made sure that every single branch that was below the line the blue line I made sure to cut every single branch and that no branch was crossing over these branches are okay because they're past the barrier but I made sure that there is no way for them to get from the ground over and cross the barrier without crawling up the tree so I'll let you know in a few weeks if I start having blossoms but I would say this looks like it works but I'll know more after I actually power wash my tree okay it's been two days two days yes two days since I put the barrier on I can still see the sticky substances on it I'm not seeing any ants I'm not seeing any ants coming up and down normally it's a highway of ants um, but I did pressure wash all most of the ants that were in the tree I don't see any coming down so I think I got most of them um, so so far it seems like it's okay but I'll have to give it some more time okay that's it till next time let's plan go and eat together I'll be giving updates on my cherry tree over the next few weeks um, hopefully we'll be having a whole lot more blossoms come out now that it, um, the aphids are reduced I see you know there are blossoms throughout trying to come out so hopefully I'll have a nice load of cherries soon the good thing about my cherry tree is that once it starts blooming once it starts bearing as long as I can control the aphids and the bugs I get months months literally months of cherries so hopefully we'll be planting growing and eating together some yummy cherries talk to you soon stay safe and God bless